I'm trying to think of something fun and whimsical to say. I don't really have much. Blue Jays are still in first place. That's a shock. Um, let's see if they can keep it up. But that's not important. You don't care about baseball. Maybe you do. Maybe you come here for the baseball. Maybe you come here for the open. That's it. And then you leave and you're like, oh, that was impressive. I like that. Thank you. Um, but you don't. So anyway, um, let's just go ahead and get started. Hello and welcome to another Cybersecurity 101. I'm Mark Hemingway, Creative Content Director here at Archer Energy Solutions. Today, we're diving into something that sounds like science fiction, but it's a very real thing. Zero click exploits. No clicks, no downloads, no suspicious links, and yet your device is compromised. Let's break it down. A zero-click exploit is exactly what it sounds like, a cyber attack that requires no interaction from the user. Unlike traditional phishing attacks where you have to click a link, open a file, or install an app, a zero-click exploit can infect your device without doing anything at all. It takes advantage of vulnerabilities in the software that process data automatically, like images, videos, or even text messages. Let's say you receive a text message or a missed call notification. You don't even open it, but your phone's messaging app or call service still processes that message in the background. If that message was crafted with malicious code and the app has a vulnerability, that's all it takes. The attacker can run code on your device silently. You're compromised and you never clicked a thing. This type of exploit became headline news when it was used in the Pegasus spyware attacks where journalists, activists, and government officials were targeted using zero-click vulnerabilities in iMessage and WhatsApp. Why are they so dangerous? Three reasons. Number one, no warning signs. There's no suspicious link, no phishing email, no bad decision by the user. You never even know what happened. Number two, high value targets. Zero-click exploits are expensive and rare. Nation-state actors and advanced persistent threats often use them to target VIPs, not average users. Number three, hard to detect. Even forensic analysis can struggle to uncover them because they leave minimal traces and exploit trusted apps. Here's the tricky part. These attacks target vulnerabilities in software. So your best defense is keeping your device updated. Security patches fix the holes that zero-click exploits rely on. Other best practices? Limit app permissions, especially messaging and phone apps. Use mobile security tools if available. Be cautious with jailbroken or rooted devices, they're more vulnerable. And finally, stay informed. The more you understand about these threats, the better decisions you can make. So next time you hear someone say, I didn't even do anything when talking about a hack, they might be telling the truth. Zero-click exploits are a powerful reminder that cybersecurity isn't just about what you click. It's about how secure the software you trust really is. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and share it with someone who thinks they can only be hacked if they click a suspicious, a suspicious a suspicious, oh, I still can't say it, a suspicious link. And don't forget to follow us on our socials, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or X. And stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. You can catch new episodes every Thursday. Follow us on YouTube at ArcherU. Like, subscribe, and click the bell notification to be notified when a new episode has been released. Is there a question or a topic you'd like Mark to address on an upcoming episode of Cybersecurity 101? Leave them in the comments below and check back in every Thursday for a brand new episode.